Hey, Tony here. Today I want to tell you what my 10 most anticipated titles are for the November Barnes & Noble Criterion Sale, so stick around. So it is November 2022, and that means that it is time for the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion Sale. Now there are 10 titles that I'm really looking forward to picking up during the sale. Hopefully I'll be able to get all of these. Um, we got some new releases that have already been released recently, and then there are some releases that are coming out later on during the month of November. But here are the 10 titles that I'm hoping that I will be able to add to my collection. So first up, we have Sand of Metal on 4K that was recently released. So Sand of Metal is about a drummer in a metal band who is starting to lose their hearing. And we kind of see that journey through that course of him realizing that his life is changing. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Next up, we have Arsenic in Old Lace. I've really been wanting to see this one for a very long time. And it finally got a Criterion release. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Now, Arsenic and Old Lace is a Frank Capra film starring Cary Grant, and I really do enjoy these older films, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. Another one that was released not long ago is Buck and the Preacher. Buck and the Preacher is Sidney Poitier's directorial debut, and it stars Harry Belafonte and, of course, Sidney Poitier's in it. Um, I watched the trailer for this, and it really looks interesting, and really looking forward to checking this one out. Another recent release is The Power of the Dog. This right here got a 4K release also. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. The Power of the Dog is a Jane Campion film. It stars um, Benjamin Cumberbatch. It has Kirsten Dunst in it. It is a Western-type film, which I really do enjoy westerns so i'm really looking forward to checking this one out so there's a david lynch release that just recently came out called lost highway that i've never seen so i'm definitely looking forward to picking this one up and checking it out so lost highway is a david lynch film it stars um, patricia arquette and bill pullman the trailer looked very interesting so i'm really looking forward to checking this one out now here's a title that tim talks talkies um, talks a lot about at least one of the titles that he talks a lot about, and that is The Night of the Hunter. So I'm really looking forward to picking this one up and checking it out. So The Night of the Hunter is a thriller type film uh, starring Robert Mitchum and Shirley Winters. I've never seen this film before, but I do know that Tim really recommends it. And I really do like a good thriller, horror type movie, and I enjoy black and white. So this right here looks like something I would really be interested in. Another one that Tim Talks Talkies talked a lot about back when it was first released, I believe back during the July sale, and that is Summertime with Katherine Hepburn. Um, I did not pick that one up previously, and I definitely want to pick it up this, this go around and check it out. Summertime's a film with Katherine Hepburn. Um, you know, usually whenever I'm watching the Criterion films, there's a lot of them that are kind of um, dark and depressing, but this right here seems like one that would be really fun and entertaining, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Another title that I am looking forward to picking up is Daddy Long Legs. This was released a few months back, and I never did pick it up because I was waiting on this sale, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. So Daddy Long Legs is a Safety Brother film. Um, I haven't really heard much about this one, but I did watch the trailer. It looks very interesting. It looks like a lot of it was just shot um, live on the street and the young um, boys that are in this film um, the special features looks like it's going to be really interesting to see what their perspective is so I'm definitely looking forward to checking out Daddy Long Legs. Now there's two other releases that are coming out on November 22nd that I'm really looking forward to picking up. The first one is the one starring um, Denzel Washington, um, Malcolm X. I do have Malcolm X in the collection, but I never have taken the time to watch it. So this will be a great opportunity for me to check this one out in 4K. So Malcolm X is a Spike Lee film. And I, like I said, I've never seen this one before. It does star Denzel Washington and it is a biopic. I really do enjoy biopics. And so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And then lastly, the most anticipated title that I'm really looking forward to is a Disney title, a Disney Pixar title that's coming out on November 22nd called WALL-E. So WALL-E was announced um, a few weeks ago and everybody was really excited that Disney and Pixar were actually letting the Criterion um, Collection release one of their titles. We're looking forward to seeing what maybe this might um, have for the future releases, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing WALL-E in 4K. So I think most everybody knows about WALL-E. Um, it's one of those films that I have not really visited too often. I actually think I've only watched it twice 
maybe even only one time. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out again and really looking forward to seeing what the special features are. So those are all of my titles that I'm really looking forward to checking out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these titles and also give me some recommendations of, of some other titles that you would recommend that, that I check out or pick up because I really do enjoy reading your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.